Hello, it's Australia with a reading for the collective. Take what resonates throughout the rest. Watch out for scammers in the comment section soliciting you for readings. It's not me. I hope that everyone is doing very well and feeling loved and protected, living in your highest potential. Thanks for all of your positive energy. The chariot, and I feel like there's something around here that wants to come out as well. Judgment reverse. Nine of Cups, Queen of Wands, Chariot, somebody making some bold move, Three of Wands, Someone, someone's in control, um, someone is challenged because they were waiting for something that um, someone might want to travel somewhere. Um, they were wait they're waiting for something to come in or someone feels like something will never arrive or something's falling apart or not working out um, alliances alliances are falling apart um, actions someone took some action and it just feels like something is like dying out um, Two of Cups reverse in the subconscious, so this is something about something not being, being a perfect partnership. The Empress reverse in the recent past, this is a feminine energy, is very manipulative, insecure, needy, draining. Intentions or expectations. Six of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune reverse. I'm not sure about this Wheel of Fortune reverse. I'm going to put it back for now. So this is about um, somebody giving something to someone, making something fair. So taking some action. Uh, someone's been waiting for something. Someone's going to make something fair. Um, Four of Cups reverse. Someone's trying to find a way. Um, to come out of some type of depression or, or disappointment or um, they're ready to, to interact with the world again. Um, they're, they're finding gratitude. The lens they're looking through, Three of Pentacles. So someone could be at work right now. Um, they could be with a group of people um, working on something um, Or they're, they're seeing how something can be aligned with a group. The moon, someone, this person might come across like they're not really sharing what they're doing. Um, so, so people, this person could seem a bit secretive or something seems hidden in this environment um, or someone feels like people are a, not easy to read or something's off. Uh, or someone's hiding something. Hopes and fears, Ten of Cups reversed. So someone may feel like um, worried about living in some type of dysfunction with a group of people permanently, or they don't want someone to have this Ten of Cups, um, this sort of everlasting joy or love, or not being able to create this loving environment. Outcome, the lovers, some type of a contract coming together, or someone making a choice to be with someone. Knight of Swords under the deck reversed. So, hmm. Knight of Swords reverse. That's someone taking some type of hasty action, um, very reactionary. They could be heated. Um, they're, they're not thinking before they act. Okay, so with the Chariot and the Knight of Swords, because this Knight of Swords is permeating the whole reading, this could be, this could have something to do with actually traveling, traveling in a car, 
being angry, out of control, trying to get control of something, um, to travel somewhere. Um, this could be someone who is getting control of a situation where there is someone who's out of control, someone who's just sort of lashing out, they're not thinking about what they're doing, some sort of rash, hasty movement, action. Um, so... see what the energies are, the primary energies of, of this alchemist describe. So this could be somebody who um, has esoteric knowledge, that's, that's a writer, that may be a very wise person who spends a lot of time, or, or someone's feeling separated, separated, or that alchemist is feeling like Storyteller. So scribe and storyteller both came out. There could be someone here who's a writer. Um, wow, it came out again. I see queen, goddess, storyteller sticking out. Um, someone could have made up lies. Teacher. So this could be a teacher. This could be a writing teacher. Um, who's a feminine energy, um, gambler, thief, who maybe thought they were going to take something from you, very self-indulgent, whoever this is. Um, yeah, they're dealing with an angel, um, an angelic person. Um, someone could have charmed this person behind the scenes something to do with this is definitely someone who okay bully mystic there's someone here who if they're not a writer they made up some stories or someone was teaching someone how to bully someone or someone thought they were learning someone got charmed into something it's all about bullying and destroying someone, an angel. Someone thought they were learning something. Midas miser. This was about money or holding on to something. This person might feel foolish now, thinking that this angel was going to be a, bull, um, a victim. Or something backfired. Somebody was messing around with some type of energy. They were messing around with energy and they did something behind closed doors, negotiating with an ulterior motive or hidden agenda, either personally or professionally. This person could be very um, pretentious, full of themselves. It's like pretension to much deeper knowledge than they actually possess. Knowledge, skill. So this is a very hedonistic thief. Someone could have been learning something from this hedonistic thief. Someone took a gamble um, and thought they were learning something from this hedonistic thief, or this is someone who is a hedonistic thief that tried to bully you. Um, you could be an artist, I'm seeing here, artist, or you could be somebody that thinks in a very abstract way. Someone definitely was about sabotaging you, because I'm also seeing a sabotage here. A bully trying to sabotage you. And they were working with someone who... Or they are somebody who dibble dabbles in lower vibrational spiritual practices. Obviously it's lower, lower vibrational. When we're talking about heathenism and stealing. Um, and being very greedy and bullying someone that's definitely low vibrational but with mystic and all of that here they're definitely trying to manipulate something energetically and and they're also focused on someone who is very angelic that definitely makes it lower vibrational someone could have been teaching something to someone 
or someone is a teacher. Someone could be a teacher that writes. Yeah, a writing teacher um, who tried to destroy you. Um, or they thought they were learning something from someone or this could have been a teacher of yours. Um, so the chariot. So whoever this is, is focused on someone who has control of a situation, um, is balanced. Um, this could also have to do with traveling. Um, trying to think, because I feel like there's something else to this chariot. Um, that you're, you're determined. Um, victory over over your enemies um very self yeah self-control is about having self-control um respect earned respect um so i feel like that could be you and um someone's looking or they want to do this um I feel like they're looking at you. I feel like that's why with Knight of Swords Reverse, this is very reactive energy. Um, if this person is um, someone who likes to dip their toe into just call it lower vibrational spiritual practices, um, They have to be trying to tap into your energy to figure out where you're at. I mean, it's possible you know this person and you see them on the on a daily basis, but I just feel like they're very closely monitoring Thief Reverse. They feel like they weren't able to steal something from you. Yeah, and your pathway is clear. Um, yeah, Thief Reverse just came out again that feel like you you are victorious. They weren't able to steal something from you or bully you. And that you're in control and you've earned some type of respect because of what you've been through. Um, three of Wands. Now they feel like they're going to be waiting forever for something or something they were waiting for isn't going to come through. Message reverse. So it could be something in a message. A download. Or because of a message, something's never gonna come in. Or someone was waiting for someone to message someone about something and it didn't come in. Or they sent out a message and nothing's coming in. Or their messages are blocked. Someone's blocked someone. They feel like they're going to be waiting forever this, with this alliance, this, these, this alliance. Um, so someone tried to steal something from you, something they were waiting for, or they're waiting for something now. A message isn't coming in. I don't know, it's someone expecting you to message them. Um, or they're wait, they don't like a message that they're getting. They've been waiting for something to happen to you, maybe. Maybe in a car. But I don't think so. I think this is the more um, metaphorical traveling with control. Two of Cups reverse, some type of a broken partnership. Change reverse. Something's not changing or someone doesn't want something to change between two people that either Someone or someone wants to keep two people apart, um, or something's never going to change, or someone is partnered with someone that is not their match, and that's never going to change, or they don't. I'm not sure what that is yet. We'll get back to it. Empress Reverse. So I feel like this is definitely whoever this is. This bully, this hedonistic bully. Who took some type of a gamble? Very self-indulgent person. Um, and for some reverse, 
Why why is why is this Empress reversed in the recent past? Wealthy man. So I feel like this wealthy man um, sees this feminine energy um, as someone who's very, you know, either faking, faking it, uh, just not for real. Um, they can see past something with this person. They they don't respect them. They don't find them to to be bringing something of value to a situation. Um, or they don't want this person to be the mother of their children or they they feel drained around this person um, they, or they find this person very insecure they're not attracted they don't see it as a good mix um, or this person has been this empress in reverse has been focused on this wealthy man um, and been very insecure and um, about this person this or this person made this wealthy man made this empress in reverse feels insecure this could have to do relate with relationships this could also be business um, they, they either need to they want money from someone or they feel like something's going to be made fair for someone bad health They might need something because they're in bad health. Or they were paying for someone to be in bad health. Maybe that's what they're waiting for, a message about someone being in bad health, but it's never it never comes in. Um, four of Cups, Reverse. Um, someone is recovering or rejoining the world this official person someone's an official person they're rejoining the world or or this official person wants to come towards this person who pretty much just wants to be left alone um three of pentacles someone is thinking about work or work environment or people joining together to do something this group of people joining together to do something um sudden wealth reverse they could feel left out in some situation where um a, there's a group working together but they they're not going to be involved or this group is still seeing eye to eye about something but they didn't get some sort of windfall from whatever they were trying to do from stealing because we have miser here and so this is somebody that's very greedy and hedonistic they could have take think this is like some type type of a gamble that involves stealing so they took took a bet with something and they're working with this group here but nothing's coming in. There are people gambling, but they're not able to steal something. Maybe they're not involved with a trip. They're not involved with something I mean, this could be, there could be a situation where there's a casino here or somebody's trying to steal something from someone, um, like take someone's money from their hotel room or something like that. Um, someone doesn't want to be around this person. They don't trust this person. They've been waiting for this person to message them. Um, they've been working with this group of people. They're not getting what they thought. This person's not replying to messages. 
they feel like they're going to be in bad health until this person gives them something. They feel like they're able to come between two people. That's the thing that's bothering them the most is they want to make sure that they keep two people apart. Or, or that no matter what they do, this person doesn't see them as a match. So it's actually, I'm not sure if this is them feeling like you're in control. I have to keep clarifying. Um, you know, you've got victory here, or if this has to do with someone moving with a lot of self-confidence and this person is not invited or they are not able to get something from this person, whoever it is that's moving with confidence and control and control. Um, the moon, yeah, journey under the deck. This could have to do with a trip. Moon in this in the environments. This person seems like they're hiding something. Family room. Someone's coming across like they're hiding something. Or there's some sort of an illusion going on in this house or with these people. Or they're not sure. These people feel like someone's hiding something from them. They're not really sure. They're unclear. Um, Ten of Cups reversed. They're worried. They don't want someone to build this happiness. Adjudication because they'll be judged. Then they'll be judged. Or they'll be judged. Be or they feel like they're being judged because they and their group are very dysfunctional or they're worried that because they can't create a ten of cups that's what they're, they're being judged for um outcome is the lover some type of a contract um marriage reverse so i feel like this wants to come out okay this person is going to be in despair because someone doesn't want to marry them I have a male female here, reverse, someone's leaving this person, blocking this person, disinterested in this person. Um, yeah, they don't want to court this person. But you're in the upright here. This whole group could end up getting trapped, spiritually trapped, or go to jail for something. You're in the upright. I feel like, yeah, your pathway is clear. I feel like this has to do with your work. There's a masculine energy from your past that you might have been involved with romantically that wasn't expecting this. They're very concerned at everything that they did as well. Someone can be worried about something legal happening, something going on with a child as well. Someone could have paid someone something to do something to block a message or to stop someone's... I don't know, you're in the upright a lot here. You're, you're respected, you're respect... Someone respects you. Someone feels like this is the end of something that has to do with money. They feel like a friend of theirs is that got them involved in this is getting off scot-free. So this mean female is reverse right next to this knight of swords reverse. So this is mean female is reacting very um, hastily. So I don't know if this is a writing teacher, if this is someone who's made up a lot of lies. They're a storyteller. They make up stories. Um, they could have made up stories and a message. Or they were te trying to teach someone something, or someone saw them as a teacher. Someone who teaches someone about um, some type of energy manipulation. Someone was gambling you. Um, but you have control. Someone's not able to steal something from you or somebody's got something under control here. Okay. 
So, who is, who has control? Who's victorious? Who's got respect? Um, who's, who's worried? Someone's worried about someone traveling towards someone. Someone's not able to steal some, someone or something from someone. Queen of Cups, Justice. Someone's Queen of Pentacles, Chariot. You. This has to do with business, I think. Or material things, materially. You're very grounded. Um, A nurture, nurturing, down-to-earth person. You've got control. Someone wasn't able to steal something from you. You have something valuable in your hand. Um, they'll be waiting forever. They feel like... Wow. This really flew out. Four of Pentacles reverse. Something they were trying to. Something was very materialistic and selfish here. Very indulgent. Very, very indulgent person here. Very selfish person. Um, the truth came out. They're, they could be in their feelings. A lot of anxiety because of the truth coming out. This wealthy man sees this person as an empress reverse. <sighs> There's nothing in that bowl. I guess it's time to feed someone. Um, this bear, this person, they have to let something go. They were they were hoping for something. Okay, their hopes are unfulfilled. Something very greedy, greedy hopes unfulfilled. They're not getting whatever they were waiting for. They took a gamble. Someone was bullying you. You're in control. They weren't able to steal something from you. Whatever they thought they were gonna get, some sort of like wish, some self-indulgent wish based on gambling and bullying you is not coming in. And they knew they were gambling this an angel. Somebody very angelic. Someone who helps those in need. This person was only concerned about themselves. Trying to steal something from you. They wanted to be the hero or the heroine. Trying to bully you, maybe vibrationally. This person could be a teacher. They might have taught you at some point. It was definitely about sabotaging you. Or there was some type of a gamble. They tried to gamble something. Or there was something they were writing down. Maybe that's why Storyteller is here. Or they were waiting for something here. Or you... I don't know what they were trying to steal from you. Um, I, I know that they... They really had their heart set on something. It was very self-indulgent. And they, they knew they were trying to bully someone who has a good heart. Um, so it's not like... You know, try, it's not like Dexter who just goes after the bad guys, you know, not like Dexter, the TV show. Um, this is someone who was going after somebody who has a good heart and they knew that, knew that. Wow. Two of Cups reverse. They don't want something to change. Change reverse. Something about a partnership or they want two people to stay apart. 
Six of Cups, something where there was unconditional love in the past. They don't want, they want two people to stay apart. They don't want something to change deep down. Okay. They, are they, some kind of unconditional love. Happy memories, good times. Or maybe this is someone that you have had that you were very nice to or and they know that now they can never take this back or they tried to come between you and someone else or they saw you go through something where there was some type of a split between you and a partner that was seemed like a good match a perfect match they seem deep down, they know that there was something there, a special connection, and but they're glad, they feel at least whatever they, they, if they weren't able to steal something from you and knock you off your square, at least they don't want you to have some type of partnership, like they feel at least good that, that you don't have this partnership or something like that, or they feel deep down I mean, I don't know whose Two of Cups this is, but they don't want it to change, or deep down they know something will never change. It has to do with happy memories from the, the past, um, or they don't want something to change between two people, or there isn't a perfect match and that will never change in their subconscious. Something is not a perfect match that will never change. They don't, they're not able to create this six of cups, something, there's something not sweet in between this person and someone else. They don't have a soulmate connection with someone. Nine of swords under the deck. They're in a lot of anxiety because some, something they were trying to get from stealing something from you, they're, they're, um, not doing well, they weren't able to steal something, a wish is not coming true. Someone sees them as this empress in reverse, this wealthy man does. Um, this wealthy man, something was, someone was playing games or someone feels juggled. Or big changes, big changes afoot in regards to this wealthy man. Um, Some, this person's got a lot going on. Um, something about someone was waiting for something to fall into place. Like all of the pieces, a lot of pieces up in the air. But it seems like what it all led to was that someone sees this person as an empress in reverse. Bad health, they want to pay someone for bad health or they're in bad health because someone's going to get what's fair or someone wants to give something to someone um, they're in bad health or they want to pay someone so that someone's in bad health um, something's going to be made fair or someone's going to try to make something unfair bad health five of pentacles out in the cold. So five of pentacles is clarifying bad health and, and six of pentacles. So so one of two things, this person is expecting to be out in the cold and in bad health because someone is going to make something fair for you or you're going to get what you deserve. Um maybe whatever they gambled is dependent on them winning and if they don't win the rules are that they end up out in the cold and bad health maybe because that's what they wanted for you and everything's backfiring and now they're going to live whatever they were projecting at you they wanted you out in the cold with no one to help you 
um, and in bad health and that energy has to go somewhere so it's going to them um, the other thing could be the six of pentacles they um, want to pay someone for you to be out in the cold and in bad health I need to clarify what that is someone is not rejected someone is an official person in the near future um, or someone is coming out someone who wanted to be left alone Judgment. Yeah, it seems like there's a, um, a reckoning here. There's a reckoning. And someone here feels stuck or like they didn't plan well. Or someone can't go. Someone can't go. Someone's not part of something. They can't go. This could be someone that threw you under the bus. Someone might have um, promised someone something here. Um, they could have very, very confidently, um, they could have been very rude to you. You might have thought this person was, if this is a friendship, and I'm not sure that it is. Um, yeah, Five of Swords Reverse. Someone could have Five of Swords at you right in your face you might have wondered what this person was up to why on earth would they act this way with you what was happening you were you were six of cups with this person you were very loving then all of a sudden it's like they're trying to not even stab you in the back stab you in the face forehead heart they were doing it in your face they were acting like you didn't matter they seemed very confident. You were wondering, why would anybody do that to you? And it's not going to end well. It's probably what you thought. It's not going to end well. You know, that behavior. Right under that, seven of, pen seven of wands. You're protected. You're spiritually protected. Um, wondering, why is this person doing this to you? It's not going to end well. I think you knew that. It might have taken some time to take, you know, it might have been painful because it might have been someone you cared about. Um, so, so they, the reason why they were so confident is they thought they were going to get something out of it. They might not like a message that they're seeing. Queen of Pentacles, this could have been involved business. They were trying to steal something from you. But you got control of the situation. People respect you. They feel like if you get what you deserve, they're going to be very depressed. someone who tried to bully you and win at all costs. And that's so strange that they're not depressed that they did something so horrible. They're depressed that you're going to get what's fair. So someone felt like you had something and they wanted it. And then they were gonna have a dream come true as long as they take it from you, they gambled you. They gambled the sweet person, then they can have whatever they want. So what about your feelings? I don't understand. If they get something, then what happens to you? And if they don't like whatever's going on for them, why would they do that to you? they wanted to win at all costs they're still out of control however this is definitely a feminine energy um, and if this is a karmic feminine who has been trying to fight you for some relationship 
uh, that was involved with s I keep thinking this if this is someone that was involved with someone from your past all of it holds true it's still the same they they feel like they couldn't take something from you and maybe they came between you and and someone that you know you thought was a, a match like a spiritual match and they feel like they can't wipe away those memories but at least they blocked that that's the one thing that makes them feel satisfied that they were able to block some sort of unconditionally loving relationship that that makes them feel really good about themselves because I guess this person is like there's something wrong I feel like there's something wrong with this person that they would want to steal something and from someone who's angelic and then destroy them so that they can have something and to be satisfied that they got in the middle of some type of love relationship between two people and that they're happy that they ruined it. That's um, interesting. I feel like that's like, there's something wrong with, with, I mean, very seriously wrong with someone who thinks this way. These people were all working together. They thought they were going to get something here, and they didn't. This whole group. They could all be together right now. Ten of Swords. Yeah, they're not only not, not getting this sudden wealth. They're, they're defeated. There's some sort of betrayal as well. I don't know. Maybe they didn't read the fine print, or they thought that these people were going to... It was all dependent on whether or not you had control over your person or not. Or maybe there's an alliance here. Someone, you know, with this wealthy man in the upright. This could also be something else. There's another thing here where they're trying to take this wealthy man from you. I don't know if this is like a partnership that's romantic or if it's business or what it is but trying to get in the middle of something before you can or i don't know if you know this person or you don't know this person but this whole group was involved and it's this person doesn't see them whatever they were trying to project it's not it didn't work it's not working this whole group is like so maybe there was a betrayal in this group where somebody thought that they'd made a you know a handshake with someone here they were promised something um, and something they thought was coming in from whoever. So this person could have thrown you under the bus for this group here, and they were promised that they were going to get a piece of something. A piece of something. Um, so this is very, this is a painful ending. This is stabs in the back. Stabs in the back. Knives in the back. Um, ten knives in the back. No matter how powerful and safe you are, trouble will find you. Wow. The moon family room. These people could be spooked or haunted. Um, wow. Four of swords. Someone could be sick. Someone, something could have backfired depending on what they were trying to send to you, um, page of pentacles reverse, someone wants something out of their body or someone isn't able to pay for something or someone was trying to block you, it's backfiring, something very spooky is going on in the environment, someone could feel haunted, they don't want to get out of bed or something, something could have backfired in a really serious way, not only did something make them sick, or it's mentally ill, or they feel haunted, or... So... 
you know, I think that there's a lot of layers of what's going on here. Um, there's definitely something about someone who was trying to come between you and this person, which I feel like is a newer person. And then there's something about someone from the past. Um, they don't want someone new because they don't want you to have any alliances. They want you just to be out in the cold or something like that for some reason. And it's all, they also, they get something from that. It was very greedy and self-indulgent, whatever this is. Um, now something's backfiring here energetically for sure. Someone's sick. Someone is sick. Ten of swords. But I feel like someone within this group, they like, they, they didn't think something through. They didn't read the fine print or somebody here betrayed someone within the group. They thought they were going to get something. It was not smart. This was not smart. Um, I feel like when I was going back to whatever this person thought um, they were doing, um, the re reason that they were so confident about bullying you to your face, that is if this is this is frenemy, is because they just didn't even think in terms of, especially with who this group was, of losing. They thought that they were, um, you know, I don't know if this is like what they thought they were going to get, but it was like a wish come true and then all they had to do was throw you under the bus and I think you know by the way that this person was treating you how little um, they value life just how little they value life I mean this person was ready to trample on top of you um, now yeah somebody's regretting something now and I just realized too, you know, they're not showing up and maybe it's, they're in, um, they're just not showing up for a reason. We do have queen and all this stuff here and a lot of feminine energies. So this could be a masculine energy that thought they were learning something from this person. And they are the ones that are experiencing this because they, um, joined with this person and and now they can't go back. They gambled a two of cups situation. And deep down, there's a lot of memories in the subconscious that they're trying to push down. Um, so this is even more sickening. If that's the case, this could be someone who you were very, you know, sweet. You were very sweet. You know, definitely not deserving any of this stuff. Very, very sweet. And it could have been mutual. So it's weird that this person would do this. They, they, they threw something away that was very, like, precious. Very precious. For some kind of, like, riches or very self-indulgent. I don't know, there could have been Nine of Cups Reverse talks about addictions, too. So there could have been a lot of addictive behaviors here. This is very sick. And I think I'm picking up on so many people because I feel like there are a lot here involved. Um, Ten of Cups reversed, adjudication. So someone might feel like Hierophant reverse, magician. So they're not going to get. Okay, so someone here, something about you manifesting and them not being part of a group or them being part of a group that does some sort of spiritual practice, unorthodox spiritual practice, and you manifesting. There's something about Ten of Cups. There's something about being kind and sweet and creating a loving environment that this person feels challenged by. And something about you, uh, them not being able to create that environment, somehow feeling like your power is your Ten of Cups but then feeling judged somehow for trying to block it or this whole group is very dysfunctional or not having it. This could have to do with being uninitiated because they weren't able to manifest something being judged because they weren't able to create this Ten of Cups. Um, which Ten of Cups has to be genuine. It does. It comes from a genuine place. Um, so... Yeah, that's why they can't create a Ten of Cups, because it's, it's this is based on greed and all kinds of uh, corruption. This is incredible. 
um, outcome, this person's going to be in despair because something they wanted is falling apart um, in a partnership or in a, like a alliance with someone or marriage or something. Um, and lovers, it looks like you're in a contract or some contract coming together for you. And they're going to be in something that's falling apart while this contract comes together for you. Yeah, you get off scot-free. That's kind of how they would say it, I think. Moving forward, it's giving um, Roadrunner coyote vibes. You know, where the coyote is always trying to get the um, Roadrunner. And the run Roadrunner just goes beep beep. And, you know, like... <laughs> Because Roadrunner's just minding their business for the most part. I don't know, there might be some some of the episodes where their Roadrunner um, purposely um, tries to trigger the coyote, but I think for the most part, the Roadrunner's just minding their own business and then the coyote comes for them over and over and over again. Um, so this is like that. It's like, I don't see you thinking of it this way i see this this person or these energies or whoever these people are whoever this person is take what resonates because i'm not sure yet um seeing you like they're, they're not quite sure how you're unscathed they don't there's very little respect here they don't understand you they don't get you they don't see your value they don't okay so you have something that they want to steal from and and they're very impassioned by it but they have no respect for you i think that's where it's like maybe they think you're kind or loving but that is not where someone, that's not where someone gains respect. So it's almost like you're naive or you're, you know, you're not playing all of these, these games. So you must be stupid or you must not, you know, you're not doing all of these things. So you must be you know, just not smart or something like that. So they don't have respect for you. There's like, they look down, there's this condescending energy, but it's interesting because you're, you're, you know, in the upright here, they're the ones that try to steal something for very selfish reasons and made a really, you know, big, terrible gamble. But then they're here kind of looking down on you and not, they don't even understand how you got there, but they're still condescending. They're just mad and angry that they don't have whatever it is, um, but still condescending, which is like interesting. Like, it's like judge, very judgmental. <laughs> They're in despair about themselves, feeling sorry for themselves in a, in a bad situation, wondering how they, how you got off, how you got away. They're just missing huge chunks of like, awareness uh, about so many things so many things like just really they can't i don't know what they can't see you they can't see you for some reason they can't see you for who you are yeah this then they're in some type of an illusion about you or illusion about this whole situation i'm gonna do one one more pass i think one or two more um see if there's anything else we can get um Wow, I cracked this open, giving money, girl fight, okay, giving money, girl fight, so this is definitely, okay, I really think this is a feminine energy who was in competition with you, they wanted someone to give them money. Or you, something about you getting money. Yeah, they're fed up. Who, this person is like reacting in a really big way here. They're, they're out of control. Yeah, they feel trapped. 
This person feels trapped. They said and they did the most. And here you are in the upright. They're having some type of problems with their finances or something. They tried to steal something from you and not only did they not get what they tried to steal, whatever they had, they're losing. Someone's not interested in them. They weren't coming after for money. So it could be, um, it's, it's strange because it's feeling like it's a karmic feminine that was attached to someone or is attached to someone from your past that you were in a relationship with, but I'm getting really, this is like some type of frenemy who, who tried to throw you under the bus, but I feel like they might know that other person here. They were part of some group or someone got them involved or they were part of the group and they all thought they were going to get something. That's why they were so rude to your face. They were so calm because you, what it was is you got to see the real person there. You got to see someone that was so confident because of whoever these people were. that they were going to get, that you were going to be very, you were going to be insignificant and gone. And they were going to get whatever, all they had, you were, you were an afterthought. Oh, all I have to do is destroy this person. Where do I sign up? Because they were salivating over whatever dream this is they thought they were going to get. And I felt like this person was jealous of you. Maybe you didn't know. You were, you were very loving to this person. Um, I mean, maybe this is, could be someone from, you know, connected to someone from your past. Um, I feel like this is a frenemy, um, divination abuser. Yes, this person wasn't able to, they were playing around with some type of like, vibrational energetic stuff in dark way they could also be seeing they could be reading something to see that you're in control and that you're this queen of pentacles um and that something's not coming in for them um they don't like this message that they're getting um this person with like really bad habits who wanted you to be down they didn't want you to step into your power. They've been waiting for you to, you know, um, feel sorry for yourself and fall into some sort of disrepair with like, you know, addictions, self-sabotage, all that type of thing. That's what they were waiting for. Because whatever they did was so egregious they were waiting for you to, um, oh, self-destruct. Hmm. They were waiting for you to self-destruct. Deep down, Six of Cups. Happy memories from the past. A Two of Cups can't come back or there's a separation. Something, it doesn't matter that your light irritates their demons doesn't matter or maybe this has to do with your your sweet nature you're very sweet natured so somehow there was some sort of self-importance somehow they felt really like they were getting empowered by the energy of heat towards you feeling like it mattered like their perspective their judgment upon you mattered somehow that if they hated you enough, or if they came for you enough, or that that somehow all of these feelings they had meant something, that it meant something somehow uh, strange. Empress Reverse, something about a wealthy man. Um, this person isn't being seen in the best light. They could be getting juggled by someone or 
or something, someone was had a lot of balls in the air or told them. So, I don't know, someone could have some type of disease. Someone, someone sees through someone's fake smiles. Someone was dreaming about, so they had their head in the clouds about a situation. Um, about some, some person here. Um, bad health, five of pentacles. If you get something, if something comes to you, they feel trapped. Maybe they did read the fine print. Or maybe they're going to go to jail. Or if something comes to you, maybe they feel like it's spiritual jail. Or they're trapped in a situation. Or they know something is backfiring. In the near future, under judgment, stuck, didn't plan well. Um, there's something about you emerging as this official person. Um, they're going to be judged for trying to impersonate you as in regards to work. We're trying to copy you, copy your work, or feed off of you somehow in regards to work or making money. There's something coming up around that. They're going to be under judgment. They're going to face a reckoning for that. Try to feed off of you and copy you. And that's a thing where it's like, it, I don't understand the, the, you know, there's so much disrespect here and there's so little, um, there's so little, um, I can't think of the word. They don't care very much for, for life in general. And, and it doesn't make sense. It's it's like a contradiction. that It's like they want to copy you, but then they want to, like, not think of you as anything. Like, you're not worthy, but they want to copy you. Copy your work. Copy your energy. They're copying you, but they're better than you. That's so weird. And it's like, they don't have very much value for your life, your life itself, like very little value. It's just an odd, you know, maybe because this person is like, they feel soulless to me. They just feel soulless or something's real wrong with them. I can't, I can't, I'm trying to articulate it. It's not even just about being an empathic person or a caring person. This person is like, the logic is real strange. And they would throw a whole human being under the bus for whatever this like money is and some wish come true. That's crazy. But this whole group is 10 of swords. They don't have sudden wealth. Whatever this work situation is or this group. You're, you're not ghosted. You're not ghosted. They feel defeated because you're not ghosted. There could be some issue with a child, too. Um, you could be someone's child in this situation. Um, the moon creep in reverse. Yeah, these people come across as creepy. Or this person does. But they can't see something. They can't watch you. They can't see something. Something is unclear. Or what they thought they were seeing is wrong. They're not going to get something. They've been trying to block something. They come across as haunted in this room or this house. They could be sick. <sighs> something about you manifesting... Um, yeah, yeah, you're too busy winning. You're not rejected. Something about someone giving you money, you're not rejected. 
You're too busy winning. You're a manifester. They feel like it has something to do with the Ten of Cups. Um, someone's not someone's not chasing them. Maybe they tried to, and it even seems like you're not running from anything that these people tried to do. They can't understand what how this is happening. You're not rejected. You're too busy winning the Ten of Cups. They want to be very dismissive over the Cups. There's some sort of like devaluing you. Like you're not smart. You're just loving. They don't know how this is happening. Okay, so... If they can take it, I just heard a crow, I think. If they can take it and you're too stupid to stop them, then they will. That's the crows again. So I think that could be how they arrive at this very little respect for the cops. And it's interesting, four, four elements, earth, air, fire, water, ignoring a whole element, unless it's about the self, isn't smart, but they're, you know, <laughs> I don't know. They're, whatever, try, they're trying to dodge these bullets so they could be they could have tried to dig up some dirt on you to dot dot these bullets. They might have been trying to say you had some sort of bad habits or something. Or they were waiting to see that you're you've got some sort of bad habits. You don't have any bad habits. And while they're busy doing all this. Something's backfiring here, dodging bullets reversed. They're not going to be able to dodge these bullets. It could be them that's actually... They could have been accusing you of doing something they do. There could be someone here that doesn't want someone back in a situation. The whole thing is a nightmare. Um, they're tripping on you. Um, there's something about a fake account. They could have created a fake account with you. They could have said and done things under this fake account that you, you don't know about, that maybe other people do or you'll find out. They weren't able to get some sort of evidence I'm trying to say that you were like something about you partying or drugs or something like that. I don't know what they thought. Th this is such strange, strange stuff. They're trying to find your bad habits so they can point something out. I don't know. Um, no, you really are angelic. You actually really are. So they've been trying to tell people you were fake or something. And they just needed to prove it. They don't want to admit that their light, that your light irritates their demons, and that you are always very kind. They try to destroy someone who's very sweet. You're a lot more than that. You're a queen of pentacles in the upright. But I feel like the thing that thing that is so egregious is that they, you know, were coming for someone that has such a good heart. That's what, you know, it's good. You're smart and you're grounded and you're practical and all of that stuff. But it's just that, you know, it's just not, 
it's it's inconceivable that somebody would do that. Um, I was gonna leave it there, but um, there's something about they wanted some type of influence with a romance with someone or a partnership with someone. And I feel like whoever that is is not interested because some secrets came out about them. Or this could be another energy. Um, they weren't able to distract someone. They were trying to distract someone with something. They weren't able to distract them. They were trying to say you're not innovative or they didn't have the innovation. There could be something wrong health-wise with them. Um, they could come across like there's something wrong, like they're sickly or something. Someone could just, this masculine energy, this wealthy man might be able to see that or they know something about this person. You know, I think that I'm going back and forth between this karmic feminine that was attached to someone from your past um, or this frenemy. I feel like there's two things going on at once that... Um, so someone made a discovery about you that now they can't steal something or they, they made a discovery through divination or they were trying to make a discovery through divination. They seeing that you are a queen of pentacles in the upright, they were waiting for you to self destruct or they, they were sure they'd be able to find something on you. Um, bad habits, nothing's coming in. As a matter of fact, they're going to have to let go of whatever this is, this, they were criticizing you. They were trying to criticize you. They were trying to criticize you. You're in control. You, you're in the upright. They're the person with the bad habits. You are not. They're going to have to let go whatever the selfish... Okay, so... They, bad habits, some sort of addiction here, nine of cups reverse, there's some sort of addiction going on for this person. I don't know if they were trying to accuse you of that. They could be getting criticized. People could be criticizing them for living some sort of really toxic lifestyle. They could have been trying to point the finger at you. They were trying to dig dirt on you or someone found something out about this person. Yeah, they were definitely trying to distract someone. Um, something wasn't true. Um, deep down, it doesn't matter if their light, your light irritates their demons. There's, it's like you are who you are. Whatever they're, they're trying to do is based on um, greed and materialism. Deep down, they know that. Um, someone softened their fake smiles in the recent past. Um, there's someone here who has nice things, this wealthy man. Um, they might have a rank. This person's trying to get something from this person. It didn't work. This person sees through them. They're going to be, they feel like they could go to jail um, and, and also have bad health or they're stuck, spiritually stuck. This could have to do with some type of message. They're, they're stuck. Um, it has to do with this group of people. Very restless out in the cold with this group of people. They're, someone won't give them anything. They can't get any charity. They're going to be out in the cold monetarily and they're sick. In the near future, they've been copying you. There's going to be a big drama. There's going to be a reckoning for someone who's been trying to copy you. They didn't plan very well. Um, maybe they were trying to get money out of a situation, trying to copy you. You're not ghosted. They're totally betrayed. They're hit, hitting rock bottom. 
they didn't get the sudden wealth um, enthusiasm something could be there could be a group of people who are happy about something um, it has to do with the romance um, you're not resistance they're facing some sort of resistance they're not going to get this money um, or they, they feel betrayed by this group of people there are people who are happy about some type of a romance they're losing control they're, people see through them being two-faced they see through it people are using their intuition as well um, they can't see you they can't block you they feel like they're there's something hidden from them they can't see um, how, so how are you getting these things especially without any help or they don't want someone to be generous with you why do people appreciate you um, there was some type of lack of principle here with this group but here you are still winning. You're not rejected. Um, outcome, you're not gonna be able to dodge these bullets. They're gonna be in despair. Um, and, when you, and you get you get this new beginning, um, a new contract. You're protected. Um, bluff reverse. Whatever lie they've been telling about you came out. But they're definitely out of control right now. Um, reacting very badly they could have done something very hasty they could have bullied you to your face or if this is a karmic feminine who's been that you don't know that's been doing all this in the background trying to criticize you and ruin you and all that stuff they're they're getting exposed and also they are really flipping out they couldn't produce the evidence of how they were trying to criticize you and it really it's them that is they were trying to say you were toxic or you had these like a drug habit or something but they might have really believed it because it seemed like they were trying to dig up the dirt to prove it I don't know where they would get that from anyway we'll leave this there um, for now um, if it resonates I hope that it helps and I'll see you on the next one bye